chapter 11. Be fruitful and multiply. In Genesis, it states, be fruitful and multiply. To be fruitful means to transmute and sublimate the sexual energy in order to grow spiritually. The word multiply refers to reproduction of the human species. There are two types of children mentioned in the Bible, the children of God and the children of men. Children of God are those who result from sexual magic when there is no seminal spillage. Those who result from passionate pleasure with spillage of semen are children of men. We need to engender children of God and then fight for their spiritual growth. Education of Children Children learn more by example than by precepts. If we want our children to grow spiritually, we should concern ourselves with our own spiritual growth. It's not enough to multiply ourselves, we also need to grow spiritually. Sin Our resplendent dragon of wisdom has three aspects. They are the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Father is light and life. The Son is the water and blood that flowed from the Lord's side, wounded by the lance of Longinus. The Holy Spirit is the Pentecostal fire, or the fire of the Holy Spirit called Kundalini by the Hindus, the igneous serpent of our magical powers, the holy fire symbolized by gold. We sin against the Father when we tell lies. We sin against the Son when we hate someone. When we fornicate, that is to say, when we spill the semen, we sin against the Holy Spirit. The Father is truth, the Son is love, the Holy Spirit is sexual fire. Education We must teach our children to tell the truth, and nothing but the truth. We must teach our children the law of love. Love is law, but conscious love. We must teach our children the mysteries of sex when they are at the age of fourteen. Based upon this triple aspect of sanctity and perfection, our children will thus grow spiritually. Whoever guides their children by this triple aspect of perfection will have established a foundation of steel for their happiness. Nonetheless, it is necessary to teach them not only with precepts but also by example. We must show with deeds that which we preach. Profession Modern life demands that we prepare our children more intellectually. It is right for them to have a profession in order to make a living. We need to carefully observe the vocational dispositions of our children in order to guide them intellectually. We should never leave a son or daughter without a profession. Every human being needs to learn some profession in order to live. It is a very serious crime to leave a child helpless and without a profession. Concerning daughters, modern times demand that our daughters receive solid intellectual and spiritual preparation. It is indispensable that mothers teach their daughters the mysteries of sex when they reach the age of 14. It is right that they walk along the threefold path of truth, love, and chastity. The modern woman must have a profession to make a living. It is necessary for fathers and mothers to understand that their daughters also need to grow spiritually and multiply through perfect matrimony, but do everything respectably and with order. It is absurd for daughters to walk alone in the streets or in parks, or go to cinemas or dances with a boyfriend. Since they have not yet killed the animal ego, they are easily sexually seduced and fail miserably. Daughters should always be accompanied by their parents or relatives and should never be alone with a boyfriend. Parents should never impede the marriage of their daughters. However, I repeat, do everything with law and order. It is necessary to reproduce with chastity and to grow spiritually. That is the path of perfect matrimony.